Here's what you can do in order to improve the battery life on the Google Pixel 10 Pro XL. So first of all, we're going to open settings and we're going to start with battery settings. In here, we can find the battery saver, which is something that can be used in a crucial situation where you are, uh, when you desperately need to keep the phone alive because you cannot start charging yet. So in that case, of course, we can enable the battery saver and the phone will turn off or turn on certain features that will slow down the battery uh, usage. In addition to that, we have the Extreme Battery Saver that is, uh, well, as the name suggests, even better when it comes to saving the battery, but of course it limits our phone even more. We have access only to few apps which actually can be uh, chosen over here, and uh, that's pretty much it. Of course, in addition to that, we have the schedule and reminders of the Battery Saver, so if you want to have the Battery Saver to be more automatic, then you can manage these options over here. Besides that, we have adaptive battery, which is something that is enabled by default and it is recommended to use it all the time, pretty much, to, well, to optimize the battery. But besides that, we can also go to battery health and over here we have uh, charging optimization, which is also something that is recommended to be uh, enabled all the time. And we have two options. You can either go for adaptive charging, which is... Uh, quite good if you have a charging pattern, meaning that you always start charging your phone at the same time of the day and you always unplug the charger at approximately the same time of the day as well. Because this one, this option allows the phone to learn those patterns, it uh, recognizes charging routine and pauses the battery charging at 80% and when the phone knows that in an hour you will unplug the charger, then it starts charging again to 100%. And there is also a limit to 80% option, which is better for people who just don't charge at the same time. I mean, they do not have a routine. So if you sometimes start charging in the morning, sometimes uh, at night, etc., then probably you want to stick with this 80% uh, limit. I know it is a little bit inconvenient to use because you do not use technically the whole 100% of the battery, but it allows you to slow down the process of the battery degradation or the battery aging process, which is of course still inevitable. It is something that you cannot avoid, but of course we can do some things to slow this process down. Speaking of the battery aging process, and what you can also do is of course keep an eye on the battery percentage because the 80% is not just, you know, like a thing that was made up and people just are stuck with it. It is just the most optimal percentage for the battery to charge to. So if you start charging your phone, you want to start at 20% uh, or so. This is the perfect moment to start charging your battery. And then you want to stop at 80% because if you usually charge all the way to 100% all the time, uh, then the degradation of the battery is definitely more not noticeable after some time. And of course, uh, we want to avoid that, that's why 80% is the perfect spot, it is, it is just how batteries are built nowadays and how they uh, function, so if we want the proper way or the most optimal way, then this is why we are stuck at 80%. But of course, besides the battery settings, we also have some other settings that can also drain the battery quite a bit. Most of them are in display and touch. And over here we have adaptive brightness, which is something that is recommended to be used because, of course, uh, you don't have to stay at the same brightness level all the time, realistically speaking. Sometimes, of course, you need this additional uh, brightness and sometimes there is no point of having it, so you can let the adaptive brightness adjust the brightness of the screen to the brightness of the environment. Besides that, we have always on display, which is a pretty cool feature, but it drains the battery quite a bit, so we can turn it off. And uh, in addition to that, we have the screen timeout, so the time of inactivity after which the screen uh, turns off. Now, in my case, I usually use like two minutes because of videos, I want to keep uh, the screen on all the time. But on a daily basis, you don't really need more than 30 seconds. You can try to use, for example, the screen attention or adaptive timeout, but realistically, you still probably want to stick with 30 seconds at most. Ideally, you want to use 15 seconds, um, but uh, 30 seconds is definitely good enough as well. In addition to that, we have dark theme, 
which also can be quite helpful. Of course, the option itself doesn't really help that much, but if we sum it up with all other features that we do over here, all these changes, then, you know, we can get an extra hour even uh, with uh, all of these options. And uh, furthermore, we should also be able to find, let me actually try to find it, uh, which is the screen resolution in here. And screen resolution, of course, is also quite huge in terms of battery consumption. So I know that the um, we have the option to increase the resolution and use maximum resolution, but it definitely increases the battery consumption. So if you want to save the battery, you want to switch back to the high resolution. And of course, we have smooth display, which provides smoother experience when uh, scrolling, for example. All these animations are looking really, really smooth on the screen. But of course, 120 hertz is not just for free. I mean, yes, it is, of course, but um, as a result of uh, using 120 hertz, um, the battery consumption is, of course, higher. As or So it can also drain the battery quite a bit. So if you want to limit the battery usage, then, of course, you can also disable the smooth display option and limit the screen refresh rate to 60 hertz. And uh, I believe there's one more thing. Yeah, we should go to sound and vibration. And over here we have now playing, which is also a pretty cool feature that allows you to identify songs that are playing in the, playing in the background. So you can just go to the lock screen, you can open the lock screen, and then you can immediately see the title of the song, which is really good if you often are in a situation where you hear a cool song and you don't know the, the name of that song. So the phone can help you with that. But there are better alternatives that you can use uh, instead, of course. It is convenient to use this in the lock screen because you don't have to enable anything. Uh, but there is, for example, Circle to Search that allows you to use the, um, the, the song recognition. In this case, unfortunately, it seems that this app doesn't support uh, this option. But I believe if we do this in the home screen, then yeah, we should be able to use it. So we can play Sing or Hum a Song in order to get a Google um, results of the song. Now, we're gonna go back to settings and we're gonna scroll down to location and in here we should be able to find location services where we can find Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. Both of these options should be disabled. They can save the battery quite a bit as well and they don't have to be enabled all the time and even if you are somehow in a situation where an app for example requires you to use these features then of course you will be notified about it, you will be informed about it, and you can just do so temporarily um, to, to make it work, and then you can turn it off when it's not needed. Now, furthermore, of course, we have uh, stuff like, uh, mostly network and internet, we have a bunch of stuff that also drain the battery, and uh, this is, for example, the hotspot and tethering. If you keep it on all the time, wh whether it is actually the hotspot or one of these tethering options, they can drain the battery quite a bit as well. And uh, if we go to the internet, then over here we can scroll all the way down and go to network preferences and we have turn on Wi-Fi automatically, which can also um, which can also be disabled in order to save the battery a little bit. And that is pretty much it in terms of settings themselves. But I also have to mention some other stuff, like if you have certain features or certain apps that are running in the background all the time, and then obviously they can drain the battery quite a bit as well. This can be like uh, video wallpapers, so apps that provide video wallpapers or animated wallpapers. This can be some effects, like if you have an app that uh, allows you to like have some flash effects when you receive notifications, for example, or something like that. This obviously drains the battery quite a bit as well. And I have to mention some obvious stuff too, like the usage of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and NFC and probably more location, of course, and so on. These options can drain the battery as well. So in a perfect world, you want to, for example, disable the Wi-Fi when you are not in a space where you usually use the Wi-Fi. So let's say you are outside, you are not connected to any Wi-Fi, there is no point to have the Wi-Fi option enabled. Same goes with Bluetooth. If you don't have any Bluetooth device connected to your phone, there is no point of having this option enabled all the time. Of course, in terms of Bluetooth, it can actually be automatically re-enabled. Uh, so what you might want to do is go to Bluetooth settings and you can disable this option automatically turn on tomorrow. So, yeah. And um, like I said, and this is relevant to 
all other stuff that we can probably find over here or maybe even some things that cannot be found over here like like i said like location nfc mobile data as well of course so whenever you don't need to use these options or these features you can just turn them off and when you need them you can turn them on to start using them and that's pretty much it this is i believe everything or almost everything that we can do in order to improve the battery usage on our pixel 10 pro xl if there is something that i didn't mention then of course let me know in the comments so that people can know about it as well and thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe